Today is really to uh, to inform, however. I want to inform people on what's out there, what's coming up, what's still missing. Try to have a kind of a, an idea where, where everybody stands and also uh, try to uh, reach out to people for material and see if we can if we can share what we can share, what we have, and so on and so forth. And also Nancy, Nancy Peterson from WQSB, she had a very good yeah. idea, and I wanted to uh, run it by participants here. But it, we may not; there might not be enough of us to uh, to go there. We'll see. It's about contemporary world, so you really a you have to offer it, and b yeah. uh, we do. You do, yay, good. Okay, so that might interest you, Emily. Then maybe, maybe, yep. Well, I can I can at least give you uh, the the lowdown on the conversation we were having. Is that we were talking about the material that we have, like pretests and and uh, situate about you know s audios audios apprentissage, ce sont apprentissage, and how things are changing so fast and moving so fast in today's world that there may be a need for something that for some kind of lesson or some kind of of uh, eva learning situation that would be generic enough to be paired with any type of text or on any type of conflict, for example. If we look at conflict, for one, the last year, it's been the Ukrainian and everything that's happened over there. And if we stick to what we usually have to teach, then we're missing out. I mean, our students are missing out on, on finding out about what's going on and the, the issues behind all this. So we were thinking, what if we were able to come up with a learning situation that could be used with any, uh, any current event or any current situation? And for that, I don't wanna get into that alone. I have enough work uh, outside of that, but, that that question came up, and we were wondering if it, if this could be could be done. Yes, Emily. Would this or be if like it exists, sort of... it may be existing already. Yeah, I'd have to talk to Cameron to find okay. out. But I think it'd be interesting to have some sort of template that exactly you could just switch out the the topic of the day, um, the but the template is there. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I would love to start. That would be the same. That'd be interesting. Yeah. That could be something that, and especially that, you know, it's in your wheelhouse very much so, Emily. So you could be one of the consultants maybe to, to help me out on that. But anyways, Nancy was much, and she doesn't teach it. She says, oh, I don't. She teach, doesn't even teach no, it. She says, I don't teach contemporary world, but if I were, I would love to have something that I could work with and just pair any situation, article, movie, whatever. It just Josh works. Josh had it. created some resources like that. That right. were they were like he had like a template that he was using and he would exactly he would just kind of change the article that they were talking about or the event that they were talking about. Yeah, that's Josh at Lester B. Pearson, Josh Peters. He works with Sheila, I believe. Okay. Right, Gail? Uh he started teaching contemporary world with me before he with you. went over there. So I, he had done and that now he's there. Before, yeah. now okay, well, I'm gonna repeat the the question or the what came to what came up earlier? We have we were having a conversation, a, a teacher from WQSB and myself, and we were talking about contemporary world and um, material that could be maybe put together or have something. And she said, she says I don't teach it, but I'd like to see something that could be adapted, be generic enough to be adapted to any type of topic or any uh, current event that could be used. And so Emily came up with the idea of a template, maybe some kind of lesson template that you could just fill in the blanks with whatever you want to do or you, whatever you want to address, but have a basic, a basic template or some kind of basic generic activity that could work with pretty much anything that would come up or that you'd want to address instead of sticking to what's in the program or, or what's been over for years or, you know. So we're just thinking, and I'm like, eh, I'd be interested, but not something I'm gonna take on by myself, definitely not. So that could be something. And Emily said she talked to one of her uh, teachers about it. So maybe there would be an opportunity for us to at least 
I don't know, just do some kind of brainstorm and see if that's at all possible. Or if you have something that you use that could be adapted and changed into uh, that type of, the, uh, of template or lesson plan, or I don't know. Of course, we were yeah. just talking in between, you know, while we were waiting for people to come in. So uh, I'm bringing it up if you have ideas, yeah, if that's something I, that could be interesting. I I, had, I wrote a, un, a unit for the contemporary world for the first contemporary world course. So I have a, a big Word document that's my creation, but I'm happy right. to share that with anybody. Well, that'd be but, awesome uh, if, you, if you could, that'd be great. All right, well, I'll put it up. Uh, where did I put it? <laughs> You can put it in the chat if you want. If it's a if it's a, a document that you can attach, you can put it in there, or just send it to me, and I can definitely uh, yeah. I can uh, transfer it to uh, to the rest of the group. No problem. Again, okay. if if anything else came up and you wanted to do something different or something new, start something new, then let me know, and uh, we can definitely look into that. So. Um, as you could, uh, as you could see in the invite for uh, today's social science après cours, I wanted to focus mostly on what's available, what's out there, what's missing, what's uh, you know the updates on what I know, anyways, because I don't know everything. But I have a little bit of a, a little bit of an in with uh, with a few people, and I can tell you where where some things are as well. I want you to fill me in on what you know exists and that may have escaped me a lot of those possibly exist. And uh, if there's anything, and I have one specific question, and that was for, for Contemporary World, where I wanted to see if we could have uh, maybe pretests. If, of course, some exist, but can we come up with something that's a little bit new and improved or... So that's that's what I wanted to, uh, to address first. So first off, questions, concerns, comments, and then I'll start with my list of, uh, of elements or items. Um, Julie, before the uh, Christmas break, you had started a bit uh, to work with Laura, one of mm -hmm. uh, my, is that yeah. project going to be ongoing or is that something that's not? I'm, I'm, still, exp I'm, I'm still waiting to hear back uh, from her. There were a few things she needed to check before anything, uh, before we did anything. So, uh, that's where that's where it stands for now but i will uh, i'll send her an email tomorrow and see okay, where she's you. at with that because she may be very busy as we say in french la brou dans le toupet. it's possible very possible but she might be also interested in what we were discussing a few minutes ago with having some kind of unit plan or template I'm where we have be... to work with people on something oh, i'm sure she would yeah. yes that's why and i wanted to work on pretests because that's one thing that because in contemporary world, we have the, I mean, the exam exists and it's all, it's all fine and good, but I don't see much else and maybe I don't know where to look for. And that's why, that's where you come into play. But I think there could be uh, work done on, on pretests so that, uh, so that students are, are prepared uh, for the final exam, especially with regard to the, the oral production that seems to scare a few, uh, a few students. Uh, even in their choice of social science and what they're going to choose it and, and do as far as credits are concerned. Sometimes I hear, you know, from con consultants that call me and say, well, they're worried about the oral component and they're not sure they're going to be able to do it. And that kind of, it makes them iffy as to what, if they should take uh, contemporary world or not. And then sometimes it's a very interesting course that they'd be interested in, but they are afraid of the oral uh, component. So I was thinking that there was a need for uh, a, a need for a pretest of some sort or something. And uh, I wanted to call upon you and um, see if you were interested in, in working on specifically a pretest um, and having that in mind, pr practicing for that as well, not just, you know, the questions and answers that we usually uh, focus on so i'm i'm letting that brew i'm i'm uh i'm putting it to you and uh hopefully you're it's going to spark ideas but i think a pretest or two are uh, well at least one anyways is is a, a an important uh thing that we need to come up with and, and have because <clears throat> if we look at we have final exams we have local exams i mean sheila and her, her uh 
her colleagues have put up, you know, material. We have that. They exist there. Are, but pretests are <clears throat> a little bit more of a, um, a little bit more of a, um, I think they're precious and they're just not enough out there. So if you're willing to share, or if you have something that's started and you'd like some help, then that would be, yes, Gail and Emily. I just want to say that what Sheila posted came out of a PDIG that Emily was part of as well, um, back when we were able to do that. And it was really uh, a productive experience to bring people together from the different school boards and yep. create uh, those alternate or, you know, to have different choices. Right. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't support um, as efficiently now. They're not, they're no longer supporting multi-school board um, groups like that to come together and create material. So this is especially important, you know, what you and Michelin do at your end to bring people together because our yeah. options are limited. Mm -hmm. The problem we have is that we can't fund we I can't know. fund any, I mean, we would, I mean, I would love to be able to say, oh yeah, subbing is, it's on us, but we, we don't have those means. So, that's and that's all it worked, but now exactly. they're saying we no longer will fund these kinds of under. I'm going to, let me ask a question somewhere and we'll see if, if there's anything, but, but definitely the issue is most of the time it's monetary. I mean, we don't have the means that we used to have, but you're right. This was awesome when that took place. Yes, Emily. Yeah, um, I just took a look back through Josh, Josh's resources that he'd shared with me and his template is for the essay question specifically. Right. And okay. so the, for the essay and the oral, I think those parts are actually the easier parts because you right. just switch out the question. Uh -huh. um, and you can have the student find some of their own resources right. um, and voila. Mm -hmm. But um, what's hard is the intellectual operation questions because everybody, because they get so out of date so quickly, even the ones on the exams that we have are like so out of date already. And if you've been teaching current events and then you're asking them about something that they've never heard before, um, right. that's in the past, like it's, really rough so yeah that is like maybe like a caveat to developing a pretest a mm -hmm. full out pretest is because there are so they it's yeah they just get out of date so so quickly with this sort of current event um Absolutely. and that's why nancy who's who's joined us nancy was saying it would be a good idea to have something that we could use and you know transform to a certain extent easily with uh with regard to material that we want to use yeah it would be great yeah. if we could so that may be something uh, i'm gonna let it brew I you think... may, uh, you may find uh, that you want to spend time on that but i'm, I'm going to check something on my end though Perfect, uh, yeah. I, have a, I have a question for someone i'm going to check and um to add to that like i think one of the things now that we have the new history program we're going to be talking about intellectual operations a lot more mm -hmm. to bring that into contemporary world more i know that when i was teaching i didn't emphasize them enough I really focus more on especially the essay and then the oral component yep. um, but now that everybody's having to practice these intellectual operations so much for history I think though will hopefully be a little bit of crossover there definitely you're absolutely right I can still hear you I just turned my uh, my camera off because something is happening with my bandwidth and I want to reduce the risk of losing you all um so good um Anything else regarding that idea? Thank you to Nancy for bringing the idea in the first place. Excellent what? idea, Nancy. <laughs> you planted a seed, Nandy. Nancy, definitely. So because it's Valentine's Day <laughs> and because it is, uh, I had a, a three hour workshop and some of you were there as well. Um, I'm going to go straight to what I wanted to address uh, with this meeting. I had announced that I wanted to focus on what's available, what's out there, what we can uh, find, what is still missing, and what the situation is in some of the uh, some of those cases. What I know, anything. I mean, I don't have I don't have access to um, everyone and everything, but I do have some information. So I figured. Why not tell you? Also tell you where uh, what we've updated on the uh, website that you may find 
uh, interesting. And of course, finished with a call, uh, an all call as to material that you would have that you would like to share with the network. Uh, I went on Mahara a few, uh, well, an hour and a half ago to check if there was anything new in the English sector. And uh, for, for financial education, there's still nothing on the, uh, on the English side, on the Anglophone side. So that's something. Um, there is this, the uh, contemporary world material for evaluation, for end of uh, course evaluation. But again, no pretests or anything. Like that. So that being said, Let's start with history. I did receive some news with regard to uh, another version B. That is, that's good news. Uh, you know that BIM has worked on 4101 version B, French and English, and it was released in October. Um, what you will, uh, you'll be probably glad to hear is that they are, they have gotten the, uh, the okay to translate 4102. That was done in French. So uh, because there was no possibility for us to build at the simultaneously, we were kind of waiting. So there will be a version B or version C. I'm not sure which one they're choosing, but one of the versions will be translated. And it's probably even started because I heard that last week. So on top of the prototype for 4102, and what you may have worked on on your own, because of course uh, it, we were we were kind of kept in uh, in limbo here. There will be a translation of a 4102 exam that BIM did, so you'll have that second option. Soon is I don't know if it's the word I should use, but it's it's ongoing and it's the news. Were I was given the news, Julie, j'ai des bonnes nouvelles, so I was happy to hear that. So we have, as I said, prototypes in English, version B for 4101, and a translation is coming soon, is coming for 4102. Uh, I also up, uploaded on the uh, on the website two pretests per uh, two per course codes. So 4101, 234, they both they all have two pretests, one per each unit. Um, they were done by Alex, Alex Prince. He generously uh, sent everything to me so I could put them on the website. He was very gracious and he worked very hard. So you have the document file and the student booklet and the answer keys are available, but he asked me to keep, to hold on to them and give them to, uh, to, uh, consultants who needed them for their teachers. So we have two pretests for, uh, each course code, one for each unit. It's all on the website as we speak as well as all the spreadsheets have been updated. The spreadsheet with the information with uh, you know, websites where to find or different books that may have certain things regarding uh, elements of the program. So that has been updated and they were put up on the website as well. So you will find them. And uh, so uh, as well as maps also, another set of maps were uh, put up there for any uh, any use you, you may have. That's for history, 4101-02. As for 4103-04, same old, same old. Pretests, material on the website, spreadsheets have been updated, and of course, they are ministry exams, so we are, um, we are, uh, we're pretty, much, our hands are tied in that, in that sense. We have to use what, uh, what they send us, but nonetheless, there are pretests and material uh, that are available that's available on the website okay so that's for, as far as uh, history is concerned questions for history oh Emily yes yes <laughs> um, so in terms of ministry exams we have for 4103 and 4104 do we have two versions of each or one of each so I think it at minimum two I okay. even think there's a C in wow. there somewhere i'm not sure i'd have to check but definitely a and b yeah two versions definitely last time i checked jigsamine they were they were there are they on jigsamine though because they're ministry exams but they are not on not, not that i can go and open them but i know they exist i mean there's an x on them but they exist they're there okay because we can see that they are they they exist but we can't open them because okay. they're Ministry, but we know they exist. We know we can see them. We can see the numbers and the letters. 
So there are uh, three I'm, versions. I'm pretty sure. Sorry. Three, yeah, that's what I thought. 4103 yeah. ABC, 4104 ABC. Yeah, that's what I thought. I saw what I wanted. Thank you, Gail, for confirming. Okay. So yeah, three versions of 4103, 4104. So anything else for history? If you have material, pretests, uh, LESs that you'd like to share, uh, we can put them. Uh, we can put them on the website, but we can also just you can also just uh, share them with colleagues as you go. See All right. So the infamous financial education dossier. <laughs> I say infamous because we are still waiting for so many things to happen. Um, I had told you guys that I, that BIM was working on a simultaneously on fifty one hundred one in French and in English version B. It's done, it's done and over with. They are waiting for prototype and DEDs to be deposited in English because they're because of the entente they have, BIM and the Griggs and the ministry, they cannot make anything available in English until the DEDs and prototypes are deposited in English, of course. And hopefully it's going to be soon, but I heard from a reliable source that they were coming. Uh, sooner than later. So what's missing for us, for the English sector, is uh, they, are, they are missing the prototypes in English and the DED. Now, your question may be, why the heck did you get to work on an exam? Well, because I'm bilingual and I can work from the DDA, <laughs> which is not a problem, and that, that's what we were doing. Uh, but we were hopeful that by the time we were done, the prototype and DED would be out, they're not yet. So they've put a hold on depositing the BIM English version, but as soon as the DED and prototypes are out, then BIM is going to, of course, release the uh, 5101 exam as well. As for 5102, we don't know when we're gonna be uh, able to, uh, to start. If at all, we're gonna be working on a version. And if not, then of course, BIM is going to go into translation and that takes a little bit longer. So we're keeping our fingers crossed as to being given the go ahead to do something with 5102. As it stands right now, um, what I would like is, um, while I'm working on, because I never know how long it's gonna take, and it's too bad that I, I tell you guys, well, go ahead and work on your uh, on your uh, local uh, local exam because blah blah blah. So what I've done is tried to put something together, and I'm working I'm working on a a, a possible local 5101 in English to see if I could be help it could be helpful to anyone. Uh, if you have if you're in dire need of that exam and you'd like to work with me, just uh, let me know. Okay. Uh, I'd like to have something out there for people to use and not be stuck with waiting for this exam to come out. Because I know some people are actually uh, asking, they, they are offering financial education or some students are interested in taking it. So, um, so that's it for, uh, for ECM. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we will hear good news this week. But I, to be honest, I've been hoping every week. So far, we, it's taking a very long time. It's, it's no one's fault, really, because everybody you ask are all pretty much where you stand is that they can't do much once it's, they've transferred the work to other departments. So, uh, but I hear it's being validated slash mise en page. That's all I know for now. And for contemporary world, well, I would love for pretests to be uh, to be available, so that or and some kind of generic or or um, a template of some sort, so that we could uh, adapt it to different situations, different news, different different events, and not always go back on what's happened 25, 30 years ago. So that's pretty much what I had to uh, what I had to say, what I had to bring to the table and what I could inform you on and about for now. I wish I had more to say, <laughs> more to announce, but at least your, 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 uh, the, the, the information is updated. So hopefully we're going to have good news soon regarding ECM. That's my, my biggest, uh, 
my biggest concern right now. Because it's a, it's a nice, it's a good course. It's a good course to give. It's a good course to take. It's so interesting and it's so useful. You know, especially with everything that they've done to make it more, uh, more uh, user friendly for that for age. I mean, it's yeah, it's a long time coming. But anyway, is there anything you'd like me to uh, research, look for? Anything you need uh, with regard to social sciences? History of the twentieth century still, it's still very blurry. But I hear they are working on the program for uh, for FGL because all we have uh, is uh, youth sector. So uh, I hear that it's in there in the plans. Yeah, that's that's all I can tell you for now. So that I, would definitely be an, an interesting one to do, and it would yes, be, It would be how many credits is it? Is it just one course? Uh, I'd have to double check, but I think it's maybe it's one credit each and it's two courses. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'd have okay, to so it couldn't necessarily it couldn't like replace contemporary world. Uh, I don't mm. think it could, but at the same time, since we don't have the we don't have the details, then we don't know exactly what they're going to make out of it. Yeah, but I think it well, anyways, if it were me, it would be it would take up as much i mean it would be as important and and it would give yeah. as much credits as as the uh, contemporary world would give but that yeah. i'm i am nowhere in that equation so because i could I, see like teachers maybe wanting to switch we, from contemporary yeah. world to history of the 20th century just because then you wouldn't need to change your teaching material every single year to keep it up to date Voila. as much fun as it is to cover current events that are like unfolding yes. in the news that students want to talk about it is also like a bit it's of a, a pain. lot of work no no it's a lot of work and it's it's a lot of weeks in your summer and no, I, I agree with you I absolutely agree with you, you have to you have to love it to teach contemporary world you've got to really be invested and like it it's not a it's not a course that you just take on uh well it's correct not, mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. the easiest one to teach yet you're right so where uh, it would be awesome if it could exist in the next, let's say, well, I, I would say next year, and I don't think I'd be even close. But anyways, we keep asking. I keep sending messages, and uh, I'm I'm being a pest. They probably are tired of hearing about it, but I keep asking. We love you for it, Julie. <laughs> if that's well, you know what? It's worth it. It's worth it. If if it is, yet yeah, no problem. So um. Anything else, everybody, that I could do for you other than send you off on your Valentine's evening? No, but I just checked in history of the 20th century. It's two courses, two credits each. So technically it could do a switch mm -hmm. with contemporary yep. world. That would if, be awesome. If the guidance counselors allowed that kind of thing, that's also the other thing is different what will the SAGEPs want? Dif different, yeah, different, uh, different concern, different dossier, but not yeah. nice, uh, nice of you to check. Thank you so much. So two and two, perfect, mm -hmm. perfect, perfect. So awesome. that's it for me. As far as I'm concerned, I wanted really to give you the update and keep you posted on what I know. And, you know, because I don't want to keep you in the dark. I, uh, and I do need your input. If you have material to share, please, I'd be glad to, uh, I'd be glad to send it uh, to your colleagues, put it on the website, uh, of course, with all the proper credits. But of course, I can't force anyone. If you have teachers that you know have awesome material that could be interested, please send them my way, give, give them my email. And uh, that's it for me. So have a wonderful Valentine's Day evening. And I will see you all soon. Next après cours is ELA and ELI in uh, at the end of February. <laughs>